and this computer. Yeah, okay. Right, so thank you very much for coming. So today uh, we'll be talking about voice service. So from circuit. Uh, yeah, yeah, streaming is on. Yeah, so uh, the uh, evolution from circuit switch to VoIP. Okay. Yeah, so for those who are joining the webinar through our um, through our 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 uh, YouTube uh, channel, and then uh, you can you can join as well. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so today, uh, yeah, we're talking about VoIP. Okay, at the end, uh, we'll be talking about VoIP. Yeah, 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 VoIP. <laughs> uh, my name is Ahmad Mardiansan. I'm from uh, GLC Networks Indonesia. So, and the uh, agenda, ah, okay, I forgot to update the agenda. So, the agenda will be uh, the evolution from uh, circuit switch to VoIP. Sorry, sorry for that. Uh, I haven't. Okay, let me update so that uh, when you download, then, then you can see the agenda differently. <sighs> um, okay, so that is the agenda and then introduction. For those who are new, we are GLC Networks. We are based in Bandung. We do uh, networking, uh, sysadmin, and uh, network development. Uh, we develop our own uh, radius manager, uh, and then we have a regular event here, like what we are doing just now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay, my name is Ahmad Mardiansha and then I'm from Bandung. Okay. Uh, past experience. Uh, this is our past experience. Oh, I need to update this as one as well. Yeah, um, uh, mostly our project related to networking, uh, system administration, and then uh, software development. Okay. Uh, the webinar itself uh, started from 2010. Okay, C can you hear a loop back? No? Hello? Do you hear a loop back? I I is it? Okay, so yeah, prerequisite at least you have a oh, okay, this one I need to update this as well. So at least uh, you know some idea about the routing and then uh, telecommunication, how the call flow is done. All right, so okay, so um, it's all started from here. Uh, Yeah, so uh, we have an invention long time ago, so that the sound can travel over a wire. Okay, that was very, very, uh, uh, very, very um, amazing at the moment, <laughs> at the time. Uh, sorry. Yeah, so sound can travel over media, so that one is really, really cool at the time. So you can, uh, this is your uh, speaker, and then here's your microphone, okay? And then you can talk uh, from uh, other people in uh, in a distance, yeah, which is very 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 um, amazing at the time, yeah. And then, but time goes. Uh, uh, we need such a way that uh, we need to centralize the communication, uh, centralize. Otherwise, there will be a, a lots of cable uh, going here and there. So there will be a, a building, uh, we call it CO, central office over here, and then we run a cable from that central office to 
our CPE yeah okay so this is central office that uh, uh, looks like the central office and then here's the telephone over here the, the first customer the second customer over here here's another customer another customer so this customer connects to a CO uh, connect to other CO and then from the other CO connect to other uh, the telephone okay so that's how the, uh, the topology looks like the physical topology of uh, your 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 phone okay so here we have a switching so switching uh, at a time is used to connect from one people to the other people okay so at a time switching is done manually so as you can see here there is no dial pad okay there is no number one two three four five right so you have to do uh, quickly uh, rotating the um, the, the uh, lever here uh, make sure it is fast enough so that the operator so here's the operators okay it's a manual operator so they connect from here to there okay so it's a really really uh, switching and then it was done manually by by human wow yeah uh, yeah I, I still have that experience in the late 80s late 80s yeah so uh, I still had that experience so uh, you have to call uh, there is no dial pad so you have to call the operator so hello operator and then uh, at the time the number is only three digits okay three digits yeah the, the phone number is only three digit okay I said again three digit <laughs> so you have to dial and then the, the uh, operator uh, uh, pick up your call and then you tell them okay uh, to which number you want to call <laughs> hello operator uh, I want to call number uh, 9934 for example oh, okay wait a minute and then off you go and then uh, uh, you can you can uh, uh, call uh, you can have a conversation with your partner okay so <laughs> that was happen at the time okay uh, how do you know if the line is hung up well the yeah, if you close, uh, if you uh, put uh, um, the, the 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 phone, the phone uh, handle, uh, it's uh, on hook and off hook. Okay, so if it is off hook, and then you can make a call. If it is uh, hang up, uh, and then uh, somebody will will be there and then pick up your call. Okay, so the caller who uses the line finished the call. Uh, I don't understand here. So from CO, there's an operator. It's a human operator that pick up your call. So when you do um, uh, turning uh, the um, lever at a time uh, very quickly, so there will be a ringing on the uh, 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 central office side, okay? And then somebody knows that, oh, okay, uh, there is a, a, a LED or not LED at the time. Uh, there is a, a, a lamp or a small... Um, lamp blinking oh, okay so uh, a, a customer here wants to make a call okay you have to pick up there very quickly here yeah. okay so yeah um, at a time uh, it was uh, that was happened uh, okay and then <laughs> uh, we changed the exchange okay from the human to uh, more and more uh, because this one is repetitive uh, jobs right so it's not uh, I mean, it's not good for human. It's not designed for human. So <laughs> they replaced the uh, switching in, uh, with the mechanical switch. Okay. So this is very, very, very noisy. Okay. So when you uh, at a time, we already have dial. See. Okay. We we can see that we have a number from um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, uh, eight, nine. 9 0 okay yeah there is no 10 okay so from 1 to 0 uh, yeah so uh, there is no human operator uh, the phone has dial pad like this one okay it can be a rotary dial or DTMF okay uh, that can be a mechanical uh, switch yeah so this is how the switch looks like okay it's very very mechanical and then there are lots of and very heavy yeah because there are lots of uh, metals over there <laughs> Uh, the signaling, yes, we need signaling. <coughs> the signaling is, we still use the in-band signaling, okay? So between, um, uh, yeah, uh, so in-band signaling, it means that the, it, it, the signaling itself is using the same uh, line as, as the voice, okay? So at the time, uh, the, uh, the, 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 
what is it the company only sell a voice service so you want to call from a to b and then you have to pay for that at that time nowadays is oh you want to make a call okay that's fine it's very cheap it's very easy right now but at that time maybe 20 20 uh, 30 years ago it's not that easy <laughs> okay uh, the data uh, when we talk data here actually it's the voice you cannot send sms there is no sms there is no email there is no uh mp3 there is no nothing it's just a voice okay and then edit but there is a computer at the time yes that's true uh but it's very 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 old computer okay uh, we still use floppy disk <laughs> if you still uh, uh understand that <laughs> yeah yeah i'm very old at the time i am very old uh, now yeah because uh, i experience uh, those technologies Okay, so uh, yeah, that's what happened in the uh, modern exchange. Okay, <clears throat> and then the mo more modern, uh, we are not using the mechanical switch anymore. We are using digital switching. So still, there is no human operator, so that's good. Uh, yeah, a phone has dial pad. Okay, so uh, switching is done automatically, but using electrical circuit, not uh, physical circuits like what we had in the mechanical switching. Uh, the um, the signaling is still uh, autom also automatic in band, and then uh, we can because uh, we are doing digital, okay, with the chip, we can we can we can set up a digital digitalization of the data. So so you, when you when you speak, uh, it's uh, in analog, yeah. It's analog is like analogy, right? So uh, you're trying to mimicking the real um, a data in other uh, media okay so your your data is is like uh, yeah just just a, a, a voice uh, wave okay that wave is represented in electrical format okay so that's analog uh, signal but uh, when we talk about the digital we have to uh, convert those uh, analog signal into different format in this case digital in digital so we will we will uh, we will convert those data into one and zeros okay okay so channel we are we can use uh, ch uh, channel associated signaling so it means that the signaling is is using the same line uh, with uh, with um, with 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 the data okay so signaling in band we can do the ringing we can do routing okay uh okay i have a question what about the phone cost rate at the time human uh, flat subscription or fee oh well the fee uh, depends on the distance okay so the 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 um yeah so every time you make a call and then there will be a billing okay so that's what we develop as well <laughs> Uh, we develop billing software, okay, but it's for for ISP for internet, okay. Uh, that's what we develop in our our team in our company. Okay, so at the time uh, we are using digital switching, and then the next evolution is uh, we have an evolution in terms of signaling, okay. So instead of CAS, we are using CCS, okay, common channel signaling. It means that we have a dedicated link for signaling okay so what what does the signaling do in the communication telecommunication so uh, because we can separate the signaling we the signaling can be used not only for ringing okay or calling that oh, okay so your phone is rejected your phone is accepted and so on and so forth and that's signaling but uh, also uh, talking about billing okay uh, how many minutes you already make a call and so on and so forth so yeah uh, with the uh, separated uh, signaling links we can utilize uh, link uh, voice link so previously uh, because uh, previously we talk about the digitalization of voice right so um, in order to make to, t to convert our voice into digital format uh, there will be a digitalization uh, process okay so that includes um, uh, that includes what is it um, a sampling okay uh, quantizing and then uh, coding okay uh, yeah so 
uh, we uh, usually we sample uh, uh, two times of the um, range okay so the range of the voice is 400 hertz so we're sampling it uh, two times so 8000 uh, times per second okay so 8000 times per second and then every sample so there will be 8000 samples per second so every sample we do coding we do leveling okay that's what we call it quantizing uh, so we do leveling uh, so uh, every uh, sample uh, we can uh, set up a code for that so the code that we use uh, is 8-bit code the, the length of the code the length of the uh, so the level uh, if you use 8-bit uh, so it's gonna be 2 to the power of 8 levels right so, yeah so every time you speak and then we do sampling uh, and then every sampling uh, has uh, 256 levels okay so that's why um, we come up with uh, okay let me write it down here so 8,000 uh, samples okay 256 level aka at bit okay so uh, meaning in one second we have uh, 8,000 times 8 equal to 64 K BPS so that's why this is a <laughs> like a magic number of uh, a voice um, a data rate right okay so yeah uh, yeah that's that's uh, how you qu uh, quantify uh, the total uh, the, the the data rate of the uh, voice but we are not talking about that right <laughs> we're talking about VoIP okay so this is just a, a, a review what what was happening a long time ago okay so uh, when when a calls B over here okay so this is the call flow you call to the uh, CO CO will connect to other CO this is for voice this is for signaling okay because we have a separated links right and then there will be uh, another two links here this is for voice this is for signaling and then uh, you, we can connect to uh, user b over here okay so that's uh, how the call flow looks like okay any questions no okay uh, so this is how the ss7 architecture looks like okay so we uh, separate okay so uh, what's the benefit of separating the signaling we can make more money <laughs> yeah we can create more service again it's money so uh, yeah money is uh, is uh, is a big driving force for technology so if there is no ccs and then there will be no uh, toll free there is no sms there is no hunting there is no, for example, in uh, Indonesia, we can, uh, we have a call Mandiri, uh, 14,000, 14, right? Yeah, yeah, Mandiri call, yeah. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm not paid by Mandiri, okay, <laughs> but this is just an, an example of a service number, okay, where you just call one number for, to, to connect to a, a, a call center, okay? So without uh, a signaling uh, number seven, there will be no such a service. Okay, so this is how the SS7 architecture looks like. Okay, we have SCP, MTP, STP, ISOP, and so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm not talking about more about here. I was I was working in telecommunication, yes, yes, in telecommunication vendor from Germany, yes. Uh, but uh, we're not talking deeper about SS7. Okay, so this is SS7 stack. Okay, so MTP level one, two, three. Uh, we have OPC, DPC, whatever. Okay, uh, yeah. If you're working in telecommunication uh, as a core network engineer, you need to know about this one. Okay, so this is the topology. Okay, so how how they connect to each other? So the thing is, uh, every CPE, they call it CPE over here, uh, will connect to CO. Okay, so just like this, 
and then from CO connect to the other CO and then the cable that connects them is called trunk okay and then we have a trunk over here and over there okay so that's how it looks like and then uh, yeah uh, because uh, yeah uh, we need we need to set up a numbering right and then the numbering was done by uh, the, the addressing so we have a addressing it was done by ITUT okay so we can have uh, several scheme uh, open scheme semi open and close so uh, we, we set up a telephone number to be like this okay so that's the format of telephone number started from the country code so as you can see in our uh, area over here yeah it starts with uh, plus six uh, over here start with plus eight uh, this one plus seven uh, in uh, Middle East, uh, Pakistan, India start from plus nine. Africa, all of them start with plus two. European, either plus four or plus three. Uh, South America, plus five. And North America start with plus one. Okay, so that's their uh, numbering plan. Okay. So it's not random. Yeah, it's not random. <laughs> right so that's the addressing so we need addressing so that we can yeah that's this for addressing so that uh, when we send a message the message can uh, uh, arrive to the destination uh, so when we talk about telecommunication service at a time we only talk about two things first is voice communication <coughs> that's the uh, main voice the main source of money of uh, operators at a time yeah but now data is more and more um, um, become a revenue generation right it's very very rare you you are using a voice uh, service from your operator correct yeah so if you want to call either you can call uh, make a call through application or yeah or uh, other stuff yeah you can use uh, you can use um, uh, a WhatsApp for call, um, a Google call, a Zoom call, yeah, it's a call as well. <laughs> you can uh, speak, uh, is a voice communication. You can uh, activate your camera as well, yeah. Yeah, so it's now it's cheaper, yeah. So now voice communication, voice services, nah, looks like it's going down. But data communications is going high right okay so this is layers in telecommunication we have devices local loops and exchange so local loop means the connectivity from cp to the co okay and then we have uh, exchange aka co okay so this is how it looks like okay this is the cpe this is the local loop and then this is the exchange okay and then exchange connect to the other exchange Okay, so we can we can see we can think this is a, a like a, a layers in telecommunication okay so if we want to make a call in a PSTN usually we from uh, A to B yeah so A is usually we call it the uh, calling calling party and this is called called party okay so from a to b so a is the one that is calling b is the passive part okay called party so this is uh, how you connect uh yeah actually this is a call flow uh sick nulling okay so uh, you have off hook so it means that you pick up the handle and then there is, there is a dial tone in okay and then you uh, set up a digit you you press something in your phone okay and then when you press something it, uh, it will be received by ssp service uh, point and then iam i forgot the name initialization initial uh, i forgot <laughs> sorry sorry I, I i will update the I will update the slides okay uh, and then uh, call to stp and then call to the ssp ssp is the surface uh, switching point like uh, co okay 
and then CO uh, ringing the destination okay the B subscriber and then uh, alert okay uh, and then inform that oh, okay uh, this uh, the, the subscribe B subscriber B already been informed that you are calling so there will be a ringing yeah so if you see it's ringing uh, this is ringing here it means that the, from the other side is also ringing okay ring 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 okay and uh, okay at a time uh, after after a while the person here is uh, pick up the, the 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 call okay okay it's, that's why it's called off hook so uh, it says that oh, okay um, I forgot the ANM maybe you can uh, just uh, you can just um, uh, inform uh, you can just google it okay and then inform the uh, subscriber A that oh, okay uh, the connection is already established so here okay in this phase uh, the connection is not using uh, signaling anymore so uh, this is the where the data is is flowing okay so they are using they are using circuit switch over here okay CS circuit switch for data okay so they are using different lines uh, a dedicated line just for data okay and then after they finish uh, this one uh, on hook so they, they put the handles back to the phone and then it's called rel rel means release okay release 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 uh, also this one release so release why we need to release because uh, when we do uh, a telephone uh, we need to uh, we do circuit switch if the circuits is being used other people cannot use yeah so that's why we have to inform the center office that okay we are releasing this resource this cable this uh, circuit so that any, uh, anyone uh, or other calls can use okay so that's how the call flow looks like in uh, PSTN okay and then as you can see in traditional communication um, yeah it's not very efficient so we have a dedicated oops so we have we have a dedicated uh, cables for voice cable for video see like uh, when you have a video a long time ago right like uh, if you subscribe uh, pay TV uh, cable TV right yeah yeah so that's what happened <laughs> okay okay yeah so it's not that really efficient sorry um yeah yeah so yeah it's not efficient so why not they just build one network for all services okay yeah yeah that's what happened in the past <coughs> so we become a mobile okay so <laughs> previously it was fixed now now uh, fix is, uh, is is not nice okay let's 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 make a, a communication more mobile so that I can walk from here to there I can uh, make a call from anywhere I like okay so let's create a mobile communication yes so this is the first generation okay still analog uh, using FDMA this is the second generation <coughs> and then uh, it's TDMA okay time division multiple access uh, we use uh, frequency reuse uh, and then the the good thing here is the digi digital signal so di digital signal like, like what we, we use previously okay and then because we use a digital signal we can apply encryption right <laughs> which is good okay so we have BTS BSC and so on and so forth 
I'm not talking about the uh, more on this because we already have uh, have 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 webinar that is discussing this one and then uh, more evolutions to 2 and 5G. Uh, here you can uh, <coughs> the the good thing for two two and half G is uh, you can you can here is only voice only, but with 2.5 G you can send data. So here you can add uh, more nodes like a GPRS, yeah, uh, as uh, as GSN or GGSN. Uh, here's the architecture for GSM, okay, uh, and then we move forward to 3G. Uh, well. The new service for 3G is you can make video call, okay? But the 3G is not not selling enough, <laughs> so that's why most of the 3G is is phase out. Uh, just delete the 3G, okay, and then keep the 4G over here. Okay, here uh, what happened in 4G is they they have a LTE, okay, long term evolution nodes, okay. So which uh, uh, wants to get rid of a legacy a legacy technology aka circuit switch okay see this one so we want to red get rid of the circuit switch do they still using circuit switch at the time uh, at at, uh, at the moment yes 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 some some operators <laughs> yeah you might laughing yes <laughs> but it happens so this is uh, the call flow okay so um yeah if if uh, so if they don't use uh, they don't use if they don't use uh, circuit switch for call, so what do they use? They, they use a voice over LTE, which is based on IP address VoIP. Okay. So this is a 4G network. Okay. So the thing for 4G is this area. Okay. So this is this is the things that makes uh, a 4G. Okay. Uh, and then uh, same things 4G but from IP network point of view. Please come back to page 28 to see more the topology. So I don't understand here. Page 28. Yeah, so this is the uh, yeah topology for GSM. Yes, but this is for 2G. Okay, or yeah 2G, 2G, a uh, general GSM. Okay, and then 3G, you just uh, we have we have uh, evolution on uh, radio side over here. That's the that's the new thing on 3G. Okay, but on 4G, uh, it's different. Okay, you have of course you have a new uh, air interface, new modulation. But the 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 good thing for 4G is uh, yeah, the purpose for 4G is they want to get rid of the legacy technology which is the uh, circuit switch okay and then on 5g we don't have any circuit switch anymore okay so on phase one uh, yeah uh, we are we, we are doing um, 4g and 5g okay both at the same time but now uh, well after after uh, phase one and then uh, all nodes will be full uh, 4G. So 5G is using a new core network. I was working in the core network. So in 5G, the core network is using new technology and then everything will be based on IP. So there is no circuit switch anymore, including the voice. Okay. So this is phase three and then that's it. So previously, as you can see, uh, the uh, telecommunication are now, for example, uh, wants to get rid of the legis legacy technology, which is yeah the circuit should, circuit switch. Sorry, <laughs> yeah the, 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 that one is not uh, it's not easy to get rid of because uh, at the time they they have uh, a good a very big investment for that and then yeah they are waiting for for a payback so that they can roll out the new technology. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, the thing is they want to get rid of the circuit switch. Okay, so this is how the circuit switch looks like, right? So this is circuit switch. Okay, PS10 call flow. Uh, this is circuit switch. So as you can see, uh, yeah. So here they they are reserving the circuit. Okay, so this is the circuit, 
and then after they finish okay this is finished and then they are releasing the circuit okay so they want to get rid of this this technology uh, with the uh, VoIP okay so what is VoIP? VoIP is just a generic name of uh, technology of a voice over IP. It's so just a generic name, okay? Uh, and then the, the implementation can be varied, okay? You can use SIP, uh, H232, MGCP, blah, 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 here. If you are using Asterix, uh, yeah, between Asterix uh, server, uh, we can use IIX, okay? That one is cool. But uh, yeah, um, most likely people use this one. Why? Because it's open. Okay. Uh, is Zoom also use SIP? I don't know. Usually, this kind of stuff is using their own protocol, like Skype here. Skype has their VoIP protocols. Okay. And then what what makes them different compared to others? Well, it's a secret. It's their algorithm. Usually, it's their algorithm. What What's, what's the good thing about their algorithm? Because they can use low bandwidth. Okay, so l like a Zoom here. So Zoom is, I, I think uh, I, I, have, I have used, um, I have used Google Meet, I have used, uh, you know, other technology for webinar. But uh, all of them are, are using higher bandwidth, especially if you activate the camera. Yeah, but Zoom so far is okay. Yeah, yeah, people can can hear me clearly. Okay. And then the recording also very 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 low, uh, including the bandwidth requirements. Okay, so that's VoIP. Okay, so let's talk about one. Um, uh, a protocol, VoIP protocol that is widely used in the world with that is SIP, Session Initiation Protocol. So SIP is uh, one of the VoIP protocol here developed by ITF. So there will be RFC of this one. So yeah, let me find let, let me update the slides later. Uh, widely used worldwide open standard used by telco. So those telco over there <laughs> are using SIP. They are not developing their own uh, uh, VoIP protocol. No, just use SIP. Okay, SIP is okay. And then this is the SIP call flow. Okay, so as you can see, when you compare, it's a little bit different. So SIP now we have a SIP phone. Okay, so they can do pickup and dials, and then there will be invite uh, ringing uh, if it is okay, and then. Uh, there will be an acknowledgement. Okay, SIP is using UDP. Okay, we don't use uh, TCP. And then here, uh, it's a voice, okay, RTP over here. So it's a packet switch. There is no release, okay. There is no uh, dedicated, there is no, yeah, because it's a packet switch, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, I forgot to, yeah, it's UDP. 50, 60, this is 60, okay. And then they are, they are calling here, they are, they are conversation. Okay, blah, blah, blah. After the finish, buy and then finish. That's it. Okay, so that's the direct call flow from A to B. Okay, but sometimes uh, because they are not directly connected, uh, this is what happens. So they are using proxy in between. Okay, so you just register the proxy, proxy, and then they set up a connect. Uh, they, they said that, oh, okay, you already registered. And then uh, if A wants to call B, this is calling party, this is called party, calling, called party, okay, so the, uh, uh, they send the invite, okay, invite means I want to make a call. Okay, the proxy forward the invitations to the B party is ringing over here. Okay, and then says that oh, okay, if it is ringing, and then you can hear ringing as well. Okay, it's ringing, and then this is also ringing. Okay, and then uh, they pick up a call. Okay, 
So B is pick up a call over here and then call the acknowledgement and then they are they are doing conversation over here. Okay. Okay, goodbye, blah 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 blah. They finish and then say goodbye and then acknowledgement. Okay, say say goodbye from A to B, B receive and then send back to A. Okay, done. So that's the call flow of SIP. Okay, so how do you, sometimes you do troubleshooting, yes. <laughs> yes, I do troubleshooting for SIP, yes. It's not, uh, sometimes it's not straightforward. So you have to do this and that. Uh, sometimes you have to argue. So uh, often you have to take a, a trace or, or a packet uh, sniff. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, for, for example, this one okay, with the Wireshark. Okay. So this is the uh, packets uh, that you are you, you you get in the network, okay? So when they make a call, sometimes they make a call, but uh, the other party cannot cannot hear, yeah. And then uh, <laughs> it's very tricky, and then SIP really don't like that, okay? I hate it, yeah. Sometimes not working. <laughs> yeah, so uh, better if you use uh, public IP address, okay, for the proxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I, I need to update the slides, okay. Uh, tips for SIP server. Okay, so this is uh, what you are doing. Okay, you check, 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 check. Is it okay? Is invite okay? And after that, you can hear their their voice as well. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, uh, yeah. It's true. Okay. So, what else? Oh, okay. Finish. Uh, is there any? Is there any? Um, is there any? Um, Live practice, and I, I don't think so because, yeah, this is a, a first webinar for VoIP. Okay, so next time perhaps we can do, we can do a, a, a testing or with the SIP protocol. So I set up a SIP protocol for, so that we can do a demo. Okay. Yeah. Any questions so far? No, you've been very quiet over here. Okay, so I just copy and paste. Yeah, so thank you very much for your attention. Okay, so if, please send your <coughs> feedback here. Uh, uh, the recording will be available. We will post the recording on our uh, website. Uh, yeah, you can join our Facebook page uh, or s uh, subscribe. Maybe yeah. <laughs> uh, slide will be available on SlideShare. Okay, we'll post the slides over there. Uh, Discord, if you want to join, uh, is available in Bahasa Indonesia, Indonesian language. Uh, recording will be available on YouTube. Okay, but now it's being streamed, so that should be okay as well. Any questions? No? Oh, okay. So... Oh, yeah, 3CX. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 3CX is one of the... Uh, VoIP, uh, VoIP uh, software, yeah. So it's based on open source. Uh, it's very good. It's stable. I like it. Yes, yes. But uh, yeah, you have to pay for the license. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Well, how to connect to each other? Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, there is a... Okay, let me share my browser over here. Okay, 3CX. 
Can you see 3CX? Uh, can you see my screen here? Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, this is 3CX. Uh, yeah, we are, we are also doing 3CX. This one has 3CX has lots of features. Uh, they can do uh, um, they can do a call center as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I like it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you have to pay. Yes. <laughs> They also have uh, apps for making a call. Yes. So if you want to make, uh, so actually there is a guide here to make an extension. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is what you can do, okay. Yeah, so you can see uh, there is a 3CX manual over here. Yeah, <coughs> here you can uh, set up an extension. So, yeah, the things that you make a call is uh, the extension. Yeah, uh, 3CX is a paid. Uh, I like this one. Yeah, it's very stable. Uh, it, it's stable, not very stable. It's a stable, <laughs> and uh, and and easy to use. Yeah, yeah. So you have to sometimes you have to just uh, uh, scan the QR code and then that's fine. Yeah, I, I like uh, 3CX, but this is not free, okay? so you can set up a voicemail and so on and so forth. So the thing is, previously when you see, uh, so you know, in telecommunication we have numbers, right? Uh, of a phone number. So here with the VoIP, what you can do is is uh, set up the phone number as well yeah uh, with the name of extension here as uh, you can call a name as well and then so on and so forth okay so as simple as that and then uh, if you have uh, two links are uh, connected uh, two phone connected and then you just call each other using the extension as simple as that okay so yeah, I have a chat here. If you have a Leeling font, I think it will be great to connect to Ye Easter on premise system. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, so 3CX is is uh, is a uh, uh, how can I how can we say it? 3CX is one of the SIP server uh, provider. Okay, so they develop a, a VoIP system that is using SIP. Okay. Uh, but they don't have they don't have I don't think they have they have hardware okay so what they are, they are doing is 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 focusing on the software okay year link year link well year link is 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 uh, more uh, on hardware okay so this is year link yeah but the the principle is, is similar Okay, the concept is similar. Okay, so they, they support, I think uh, they, they have uh, IP phones. Uh, it means that the hardware, okay, and then they, they provide the software as well. And they have also appliance uh, for so that you can, you can build uh, your own SIP server uh, based on the uh, Yearlink uh, stuff, okay? So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's all. Uh, any any questions or discussion? Yeah, please, uh, if you don't mind, please uh, give us feedback. Any and also, I need to uh, ask you any ideas uh, for for topics for next webinar. Okay. So if you have ideas, and then uh, just share our your ideas here with the topics that uh, will be discussed in the future. Yeah. So most of the topics are related to networking, system administration, and then programming. So those are three things that we usually do in our 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 projects. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, uh, anything else? No? Hello, guys. Hello. Okay, if there is no questions, and then uh, I think it's time to, um, to 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 end the webinar. Yeah, thank you very much for coming. Uh, and I think it's time to it is time to 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 uh, to do a photo session. Okay, so please uh, open your camera and then. Uh, we can have a screenshot here. Okay. Be ready. <laughs> okay. Handsome guys and girl. Okay, I will count one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, one more. One, two, and three. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, thank you very much again for your coming. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you get some uh, ideas about how VoIP is, is, is going on. Uh, how can uh, you can implement VoIP? Uh, at least you have an idea how the VoIP looks like. So, yeah, um, uh, hopefully uh, see you in the next webinar and then have a nice day. Goodbye, and then uh, see you in the next webinar.